Hey, Chris here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a dog training collar. And just a note, this is meant for dogs over 8 pounds. And this thing is also going to be waterproof. It has a nice colorful display, and it does have a distance of 2,680 feet. Right there, which is pretty good. And then, last thing in the box is going to go ahead and be the actual training manual. So right over here, we do get a few things. For starters, the lanyard to go ahead and just put around the wrist. The USB charger, and it is gonna go ahead and charge via USB-C, which is nice. And right here is gonna be the collar itself. And this does attach just via a clip. And then some additional items are gonna be uh, these two screws and a plastic bit. So some additional hardware. Finally, the actual remote itself. So I went over the instructions and now I know how the remote and the receiver work. So it turns out these uh, were just contact points and these are the longer ones. So it's meant for like uh, dogs with a bit longer of a coat. And to actually go ahead and be able to turn on the receiver is with this button up on top. So once I go ahead and hold it for a few seconds, it'll go ahead and light up here and do a loud beep. And then same thing goes for the remote. Uh, there's a button on the side right over here. So once I click it and hold it, it'll go ahead and turn on as well. So there's additional buttons here. So this one here would be the lock and unlock button. So right now it's unlocked, so that means if I press any buttons, they'll go ahead and work on the receiver. But if I wanna go ahead and lock it, this little bar up here will show up, which means whenever I press something, nothing's gonna happen. I can click the vibrate button, the beep, the static, and nothing happens, which is good. So you don't accidentally go ahead uh, and press buttons when you don't mean to. So I'll go ahead and leave that in unlocked for now and the red will disappear. And now on the back side, you have four buttons. So up top is going to be the channel, and what this basically goes through is you can train, train up the three dogs at once, So, but once I press it, here you can see it switches the channels, or I guess you could say the profile. So one, two, three, right there. Now right below it, uh, this is going to go ahead and be the off button for the receiver. So once I press it, I can go ahead and turn off the receiver. But once I turn it off, I can't turn it back on with the remote. I'd have to manually go ahead and do it. So I have to manually go ahead and press the button, or hold the button on the receiver to turn it on. Now these buttons on the side would go ahead and be uh, the plus and minus, so this would be the level. So if uh, you want the beep to be louder, you can go ahead and press uh, up top if you want the vibration to be louder, or the static. Uh, as I mentioned here, this would be for the beep, uh, this would go ahead and be for the vibration, and this would just be for the shock, and then this would just increase the shock by 30% of what you already have it set out to do. And as you saw, the screen went blank. Uh, once there's inactivity, it'll go ahead and shut down. So once I press a random button, like uh, this one, it'll go ahead and uh, turn back on. And I guess just for testing purposes, I can just go ahead and just put my hand here. And right here, I'll press the vibrate button. And it goes ahead and vibrates. And this is at a low level, like a level one. And if I want to increase it, I can just go up. It's a little bit louder. 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 And now same thing with the beep. So the beep, I already tried it and it's very loud, uh, but it can go through different frequencies. So here's the loud one. Second one. Third one. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. And there, it only goes up to 10. So you can tell that the frequency is getting higher and higher. And then now for the shock. And if I press the shock, I could hear, I could hear the little shock going through. So this also does come with a little uh, tester kit just to make sure it's working. So once I press it here, uh, it should light up. So I can press the shock button. And there's a little light that goes through. So that's how I know it works. Let me put it on my, my elbow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I felt a tingle, uh, and that was only one. Now, these are actually, these are the small ones, and then these is what the bigger ones would look like. So if uh, your dog has a bigger fur coat, then it would be these. Uh, as you can see, they're like literally almost twice, uh, nearly twice as big as these smaller ones. Uh, the second one here would be if you want to keep it at the same shock, but increase it 30% more. And there. Now, the maximum shock would be up to... Let's see, it seems up to 18, and let's see if you can hear it even louder.
Yeah, definitely can sound louder. Again, to go ahead and turn it off, it can be done either here uh, for the receiver or it can just be done with this letter M, but I'll just go ahead and turn it off manually. And you should see this go ahead and disappear. Yep, it turned red and now it's off. And I'll do the same thing on this one. And there, that's it. But yeah, that's a quick overview of the dog training collar.